Hi, my name is Alec. I'm a freelance web developer and I charge $85 an hour for my time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can make your first $100,000 on Upwork. You actually need only two things and I'm gonna share with you what those things are in this video. So let's get started. Number one, you need to learn how to convince people to pay you a high hourly rate. And number two, you need to find a way to make sure that you get so many job invites that you don't need to look for jobs anymore. Once you get that, you need to learn how to convince people to pay you a high hourly rate for your time. But how do you do that? Upwork really wants to make sure that clients get a good experience with the freelancers it works with. Because when clients get a good experience with the freelancers they work with, they come back, they spend more money, and they're willing to spend more money overall on Upwork, which means that Upwork makes more money. So to make sure that Upwork makes the most money possible by making sure that clients are as happy as possible on the platform, Platform, Upwork looks at things like how fast you respond to messages. They also look at things like how often do you ignore invites or messages from clients? How active have you been on the platform recently? How much do you apply to jobs? How much do you update your profile? Whatever you do, they want to make sure that they recommend freelancers who are active, who respond fast, because when clients try to interact with freelancers and they get ignored, that's a bad experience. It may be a very good freelancer or very talented freelancers, but clients will get a bad experience and they might decide to quit Upwork or use it less. If you want to measure how good you are when it comes to communicating fast, you have a section on Upwork that is called My Stats where you can see your communication stats and you can see the most important stat which is how often do you respond within 24 hours. Now, let's look at how Upwork measures what's the client's reaction to working with you. They don't just look at your five-star reviews and your reviews. They also look at things like how often do clients stop using Upwork after working with you? How often do clients offer you more jobs after you work with them? All of these are all factors that can tell Upwork how much people enjoy working with you or how much they don't enjoy working with you. Of course, you can do your best on every project to make sure that clients are as satisfied as possible. But beyond that, it's also important that you do your research on the client. Don't work with just anyone. Look at what kind of reviews the client tends to give. You can see that on their profile. Do they tend to give five-star reviews or do they tend to give two-star, three-star reviews? Do they look like the type of people who are often dissatisfied? Also, you can look at things like what kind of reviews other freelancers have given to this client. Have these freelancers talked about payment disputes? Have they talked about the fact that this client was unsatisfied? Have they given them bad reviews? Those are all signs that you may be working with a difficult client. And first of all, you don't want to stain your reviews with two star, three star reviews if you're working with the clients who, are, who tend to give these bad reviews. But also, you don't want to work with a client who ends up being dissatisfied or have to do a payment dispute because this can also stain your ability to rank high and get recommended. Now, let's talk about how to make your profile in a way that Upwork wants to recommend it. There's two things that Upwork looks at. Number one, they look at the content of your profile, what you put inside of it. And also, they look at what's the reactions that clients have when they look at your profile. For the content, the way Upwork measures how good your content is by using a system they call the knowledge graph. The way the knowledge graph works, they look at that search or job post that the client makes and it looks at how many similarities there are between that job post and your profile. It looks at the keywords the client used, looks at what education you put in, what is in your portfolio, all the parts of your profile, it looks at how similar that is to what the clients make. It gives you a certain amount of points that help you rank higher. And the biggest strategy that Upwork recommends is to strive for what they call profile completeness. Because the knowledge graph system is very easy to game. The more you have in common with the job, the higher you rank. So what Upwork recommends is to make a more complete profile. Because the more complete it is, the more you include portfolio item. But at the same time, Upwork also looks at things like how clients react to your profile. It doesn't matter to 
them if you have a really good profile that has a lot of relevance compared to the job post if your profile is not a profile that clients like. So they're gonna wanna make sure that you do well in metrics that are how often do clients click on your profile when they see it, how often do clients give you interviews or jobs after they see your profile, and how many total views your profile got. And I think now is a good time to start talking about how to convince people to pay you a lot of money per hour. Of course, learning sales and having better communication skills is important, but also don't neglect your Upwork profile. It's actually one of the most important things that you need to focus on. You see, when people get into interviews with you, if they look at your profile and before the interview even starts, they see you as a freelancer who looks like they're not worth a lot of money. What do you think is gonna happen once you get into the interview? They're still gonna start with the thought that you're not that professional, you're not that worth much money. Making sure that you build your profile in a way that makes you look attractive, valuable, increases your perceived value. And even if you're not the best one in interviews, clients come in with the expectation that you're already worth a lot of money. And to do that, the easiest thing to do is just to hire people to help you. You wanna get a good profile picture that looks amazing? There's probably a ton of good photographers in your area that could help you get that for like less than $200. And think about it, for all your freelance career, that's a very, very low investment. Think about all the text that you include in your profile. Why not just hire a copywriter to take all the information that you give them and just write it in a way that's engaging. And why not just hire a graphic designer to help you present your portfolio in a way that looks professional and amazing. You can make yourself look so professional that it's ridiculous to me that no one is willing to invest in their Upwork career. And with that, as you get more jobs and more five-star reviews, it will become easier and easier for you to find jobs. A lot of your clients will wanna come back and as your clients come back and you get more and more recommended and you get higher and higher in the Upwork search results, you will have to spend less and less time looking for work until you have so many job offers that you don't need to look for jobs anymore. At that point, all of your time can be invested in working in projects that pay instead of working without getting paid trying to find work. You can further increase the speed to which you get to 100,000 by partnering up with other freelancers or outsourcing your extra projects to help you get to your $100,000 faster. If you'd like to see how to do everything that I shared with you in this video, step by step, let me share with you that I make online courses that help freelancers succeed on Upwork to share with you how to succeed well with every one of these elements. And also we offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you need it and you want it. And with that, if you're interested in any of that to see how to do all that I shared with you in this video step by step, just click the link in the description of this video. You'll see my website with with all that I have to offer. And with that, I wish you a great day. Thanks for watching this video and take care.